So I got the RMA back from Ubiquity for the U6 Enterprise AP, and before I swap it out, I thought it was gonna be something easy, and this it is happened. way faster on the upload than it is compared to the download. There was so much stuff that happened. I don't even know where to begin. So I'm gonna kind of lay out everything that I've done. Sometimes I wonder if like tech support just likes to kind of screw with people because even though you provide tons of information for troubleshooting, it's like they just ignore it or just don't even read it. Sometimes I wonder if they just think it's funny, kind of like putting you on hold and showing you who's boss. And although that skit was funny, it's not as funny as this book that I'm going to be publishing soon. So be sure to check out it's probably dns.com and I'll start taking pre-orders for it soon and be shipping it shortly. So I've got this paper clip and this is what I need to be able to take down the existing access point. And this one is the U6LR. And there we go. Now that's booting up and I'll run some tests here as soon as it boots back up. Come on. So I'm going to run a new ethernet cable up here. Uh, I don't think that that is the issue, but I might as well just run another line and see what happens. So I've got uh, Cat5e. I'm only doing two and a half gig over it, so yes, this will work just fine. Now how I'm going to run this is just like the previous line. I'm going to drop it down here. That's up in the attic crawl space here. And I'm going to drill a hole here. And then on the inside of the air handler down below. Then fish that between the floors and pull it down into my office so now that I have the hole drilled, I'll come up here at the attic. Let's see where the other line got dropped down here. So let's, let's drop this down. Let's see what's happening here. It just didn't make it all the way down. Kind of just looped around. Now in my attic at that time, because it was still hot out, it was like over 150 degrees. So please smash that like button if you haven't already. Now the line should be right up here. And I'm going to shut off the air conditioning so that I can feed this down through the air handler here. So what I'm going to do is use this up in the ceiling to fish the other end. Now how I'm going to do that is they connect together here, but on the very far end that's going to be touching the line that I dropped, I'm going to use Gorilla Tape. What I'm going to do is put this around like so, and then reverse it around so now anything that this touches it should just pick it right up just like so so in between the floors you can see right where the ethernet cable comes out here try to fish that through here using the gorilla tape on the fiberglass rods Close enough to just pull it through here. Right. Pulling on that line. So then I'll just have the string going through here. And another line a lot easier next time if I need so to. I'm up here in the attic, and it is really friggin' hot. And down below, I drilled another hole and took an Ethernet cable and pushed it up so I can feel where it goes. Now I'm going to take this line here that I ran, follow this line and feed it back down and my wife will pull it back down for me. Now I've terminated both ends and now I'm going to test it here using my Fluke tester. Make sure that that is a good line. Boom. And you can see right here that it passed on all the tests. So now I'm going to plug this to the access point, go downstairs and connect it again. Now that new cable that I ran didn't fix it. Was still having all sorts of weird issues and I discovered a few things. When Ubiquity released the AP they just have horrible half-baked firmware and what I mean by that is that I had the VLAN set up properly on the switch that it was connected to but for whatever reason it was not functioning. Later on after updating the firmware it just magically started working at full speed. Now we'll jump over to some speed tests. Right now we are on 5 gigahertz the access point is directly above me here. And let's see what kind of speeds that we get. We already broke one gig. That's over air. Pretty sick. 
and not quite one gig uploads. Now let's switch over to the six gigahertz spectrum. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. So here's the test on six gigahertz. <sighs> that is so fast. Broke over a gigabit for upload speeds. Nice. Now let me show you what I mean on how it gets interesting. So I'm gonna come downstairs here. You can see the access point right up there, right? Now, I will do the test again on six gigahertz. It's still pretty fast. But you notice for the upload speeds, that is that's garbage compared to what it was when I was directly underneath it. Now, this is where it gets even more interesting. So I've got a refrigerator here behind me. With all that metal and insulation. So the speeds are kind of like all around. So next I'm going to switch this over to the five gigahertz. So the speeds are a lot more consistent, and I suspect it's because the higher the frequency is, the more difficult it is for the radio frequency to penetrate through physical matter. Now to take it another step further, I'm gonna do the test here in the bathroom, where sometimes I gotta yell at my kids, because I know they're on the internet. So this is still on five gigahertz. Now let's go switch over to the six gigahertz and the signal isn't nearly as strong. Interesting. I did not expect it to be that fast for the downloads here. Wow, that was like double the speed. Uh, last time I tested it, it didn't perform like that, which is interesting. Let's go somewhere else in the house here. Let me do a test for my son's room. New phase. And I'll just sit here on his bed and do the tests. We gotta be quiet. He's playing games. Very serious business. Right. On the top of the phone, the signal shows that it's not that strong, but the access point is like right there. Let me switch over to five gigahertz. Very inconsistent. I will switch back to six gigahertz for one more time for the last test. And again, the signal doesn't show that it is full strength, but as you can see, it performs pretty well here. Wow, that's fast. So if you're going to be using six gigahertz in your home, just be aware of the inconsistencies of the speeds and the building materials as well as anything else it has to penetrate to, through from the access point. And uh, I suspect the reason why it is behaving the way that it is right now in today's video is from the latest version of the firmware because on the last version of firmware, it was actually completely different in those same testing areas. Let's see if we can fully saturate the two and a half gig link to the Unify 6 access point. How do you bench press Wi-Fi? So I have open speed test running locally on my machine. And here is the ethernet adapter, which is 10 gig on my machine. Now I'm going to run upstairs and do some testing. Now it doesn't seem to make a difference if you're on five or six gigahertz, at least on some firmware that performs better than others. You can download up to about 1.8 1.9 gigabits uh, per second max and upload around 1.6, 1.7 gigabits. Now here's where it gets interesting. If you have clients on both five and six gigahertz and you're uploading and downloading simultaneously, you can actually completely saturate the 2.5 gigabit link on this access point. Well, that was pretty interesting. What did you think?